Not too long ago, I made a video where I showed um, a little plastic tray that I made that fits inside of my cooler. It helps keep the food and other items in my cooler dry instead of getting swamped with, uh, with melted ice water. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, that and tell you how I made it so you can make something similar if you would like to. First off, here's my cooler. It is a Coleman Extreme 552. I believe there's a newer version of this cooler now, the, the Extreme 6, but this is the cooler that I have. It's a really great cooler, much better than your average, you know, blue or red cooler. It, it works really well for me. Open it up, and this is the tray shelf kind of thing that I made. Don't have much in here now, just some cheese sticks and then some uh, some cold drinks underneath there. Uh, let me pull it out and show you exactly what it is and how I made it. All right, so here it is in all of its glory. Basically, it's just a little kind of a shelf for a table made out of half inch PVC pipe. I'm not gonna give you the exact dimensions because it'll be different for everyone and you might want to make yours a different size, but to give you an idea, the legs here are exactly six inches long. These, these pieces are six inches long. I just made a little shelf, and then um, this is part of a larger plastic bin. So this bin used to be like this high with a lid on it and everything. I just cut it. <laughs> I cut it to be... Uh, I don't know, two and a half or three inches high. I believe I used a utility knife to cut that. And then to keep this and the PVC shelf somewhat attached, I just put a hole in the side of this and then used a couple of zip ties to just to keep this on here so, so it doesn't slide forward and backward too much. A little bit of movement is fine, but I didn't want it, uh, you know, if I went over a bump, I didn't want it to be able to flip over or anything like that. I actually haven't cemented all of this together, glued all the PVC together. I probably should because uh, a couple weeks ago I was on a trip and uh, the whole thing fell apart because of, uh, I guess, just all the repeated bumpy roads that I go over. Uh, but I put it back together and it hasn't fallen apart since then. Melted ice water still can splash up here. And so a little bit of water does occasionally gather up there, but it's not nearly as much as as uh, your food would be subjected to if, if it were just free in the cooler. One thing to note about this setup is that it does pretty significantly eat up into the amount of storage space you have inside of your cooler. So if you put a ton of stuff in there, you probably won't want to build something like this. Also, if you have a small cooler, um, you probably don't want to build something like this because again, it takes up a lot of space, just like the, the PVC itself will take up a good amount of space in your cooler. But if you do have a you know, medium to large sized cooler, then uh, I think this is a good option. There are, of course, other ways to get around the whole soggy food phenomenon. You can put your food inside Ziploc bags, which I haven't found works super well. You could put your food inside Tupperware containers. If you find one that works uh, well with your cooler, that fits inside of your cooler, Right. You could put the ice itself into Ziploc bags or plastic containers of some sort so that if it does melt or when it does melt, uh, the water doesn't slosh, slosh around too much. There are lots of ways to kind of help mitigate this problem, but uh, this is the one that I like. This is what works well for me. Your mileage may vary. Right now I have one 10 pound bag of ice in here. Usually if I can find it, I like to have two 10 pound blocks of ice. So I put one block here and then one block here and this fits perfectly over both of them. And then I can still fit drinks along the side and along the front here. Let me show you. So this just slides right on in, but then I still have this part in the front so I can access the drinks down in there. There is even one commercially available product that is meant to solve this problem. I'll put a link to it in the description. I saw it, you know, six months or a year ago. Uh, I assume it's still being made and I've never tried it, so try it at your own risk, but it's supposed to stop kind of the splashback, you know, of, of water from down below getting up 
onto your onto your items. I don't know how effective it is, but uh, I'll, I'll throw that in the description so you can check it out and see for yourself. I guess that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, um, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.